Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share a ton of new decor um, that I've recently picked up. I feel like my style in our um, apartment right now has just changed like so, so much recently. I find myself just like sitting here and staring at our decor a lot and I feel like I just analyze everything and I really needed like a refresh. I really felt like a lot of the pieces around the apartment were not bringing me any joy whatsoever. I'm like, why is this even here? Like, so I wanted to pick up some fun new kind of like trendier pieces that I feel like were really fresh without going too overboard. <laughs> um, especially with uh, decorating and stuff, I can definitely go a little overboard and end up like changing an entire room, which <laughs> I may or may not have done. Everything I'll be sharing with you guys is from TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, Home Goods, uh, Target, Hobby Lobby, and I think that's it. A few of the pieces that I'm going to mention today may have been pieces that I mentioned in a recent vlog, um, but I'm going to mention them again and share kind of like how I'm reworking them and whatnot. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys how I decorated with each item and all of that. So. Yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so for the master bedroom, I got a new duvet cover, which I'll show you guys in just a second. I did order new nightstands, which are not here yet. Um, by the way, I'm sitting over on the floor because <laughs> our bed is like covered in laundry right now and I am just not in the mood to finish it. I wanted to film this video instead. So this way you guys don't have to stare at our laundry. Um, but I will show you the duvet cover. I bought a new rug. I'll show you guys that as well. Um, but just for like tabletop decor and stuff like that, um, I did grab a few things from Hobby Lobby. So the first thing that I picked up is this little vase. This is like a little wooden vase. This was actually over in kind of like the nursery aisle for little girls or like the little girl room um, aisle, like somewhere in there. This was in with that stuff. Um, and I thought this was really cute. They had like three different sizes, I think. I got two sizes. This is the smaller of the two and the other one I have out in the kitchen. But I just had this lamb's ear greenery from like previous decor so I threw that in there and I think it looks really cute so I have it sitting on um, our TV stand and paired with that vase I have these two candle holders these have to be like one of my favorite decor purchases ever I am so into the mid-century modern right now like so into it I feel like it's a very distinct kind of style yeah I feel like my style now is mid-century modern boho I don't know. I felt like these were very mid-century. So they're gold little candle holders. I love this like very slender uh, stick and then um, just the shape of this at the top. They're very simple, but I did get two different um, sizes. I did hit up Hobby Lobby when they were having like their tabletop decor 50% off or something. So these were very inexpensive. Um, this one I think was $6, the larger one. And then the smaller one was originally $9.99, so it was around five bucks. Okay, so next for our bedroom, um, again from Hobby Lobby, I got this little vase. I have been staring at this vase forever. I don't know why I love the shape of it. It has really good weight to it. It's like heavy here at the bottom and it's like a thick glass. I love the color. Um, I just feel like it can create really good contrast really anywhere you wanna put it. But I also got these little guys at Hobby Lobby, which I had been looking for. I saw somebody mention that they got these at Hobby Lobby and I was like, what? So I ran in to get them. Of course they were out of stock. I did a rain check and got them again, which if you didn't know at Hobby Lobby, you can do like a rain check. So they were having 50% off all their floor florals um, and I wanted to make sure I got them at that price. Um, these were in the dried florals by the way. They're not fake. They're like real dried. So I did a rain check. So I was like, hey, I'd like four packs of these. I think I ordered six, but I only ended up taking four home because um, it ended up being a lot. But and then I was able to go back when they were back in stock and um, still pay the sale price even if they were not on sale. So yeah, just a little Hobby Lobby shopping uh, tip. But I love this glass. I wish they had the same glass in like a little mini because I think it'd be really cute um, next to each other. But I feel like this would be really great on a nightstand or something like that. I just think this is so cute. So got that and I think I paid like seven dollars for this as well okay next for our bedroom I grabbed these lamps at Christmas tree shop so I don't actually know if I'm going to keep these I love them like I think more in the store than I do um, in our bedroom but I kind of have to wait to see what our nightstands look like so I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up but it actually has like a matte bottom this is like a matte white and it's um, very textured it's like ceramic with some black speckle detail and then this part is um, shiny it's like a satin finish and then this part is like a cream so it's kind of striped in like texture and just a little bit of variation in color there so I don't know I just kind of liked these I liked the texture and kind of the roughness of it um, but I almost feel like are they too simple do I need to be a little more fun I don't know but in my experience Christmas tree shop lamps are like super duper affordable I've bought like almost all of our lamps there 
so affordable. These were $20 a piece and this is a large lamp. Like this would easily be um, around $40 at Target. So I don't know. I have to see how it's going to look like or what it's going to look like with our nightstands. But next I'm going to show you guys our rug and the duvet cover. So I want to say something about the duvet covers. So we have a place called Martin's here and it's not like a second, um, it's not like a secondhand shop, but they get I don't know like slightly damaged items from other places or like if um, a store has like a flood or something and some of the merchandise is damaged um, aka just needs to be run through the washing machine <laughs> um, Martin's ends up with it so you can get some amazing amazing deals there I found this bedding there that um, I will put a little picture of it here I forget like what the actual brand is called but I looked it up in online right now it's going for like 350 I think for a king size let me just say the quality, I knew when I touched it, I was like, oh, this is mad. Um, and it was really like what I wanted and it's kind of got the mid-century vibe to it, which I love. Um, so I got a king size duvet cover with the shams for like $75. Um, and it's selling online for $350. So I am stoked. And then our rug I ordered from Amazon for it was like $84 or something our rug is much more of a cream color than our bedding but I have like warmer throw pillows on our bed and stuff so I actually feel like it works I love mixing cream and white I, like I'm literally wearing cream and white right now like I don't know I just it's like part of my aesthetic so I feel like it works but I know that is kind of um like a no-go for some people but I like it so I'm gonna show it to you guys okay so this is our duvet cover look how gorgeous this is guys like how beautiful is all of this detail? I love this texture here. I love this distressing at the bottom. I think that's so well done. And this is so soft and like heavy yet lightweight. And it's just really, really, really good. I will link it for you guys, even though it's going to be uh, at a much higher price point. But if it's in your budget and you've been looking for something like this, this is gorgeous. I would absolutely say it's like worth the price. Like I said, I could tell as soon as I felt this that it was high end and that it was probably very expensive originally. But yeah, as you can see, like this is kind of warmer. So I feel like the rug actually works. But this is our rug that I was talking about from Amazon. It's so pretty. I really love like the variation in color. It's got cream, light brown, darker brown, and then it has like a really dark shade. But I do feel like this goes really well with like the aesthetic and everything that I kind of had in mind. And the fact that it was $84, I'm like, you know what? Kind of can't go wrong. So... By the way, this basket is from TJ Maxx. That belongs in Sissy's room, but she was playing in here earlier. So anyway, so I will actually update you guys and give you like an actual um, overview of our bed when it's like nicely made and we have our new nightstands and all that in like an upcoming vlog or something. So stay tuned if you're interested, but I want to move on to the bathroom. So I only picked up a couple things for the bathroom. I had purchased a new shower curtain like a while ago from Target and it's super cute. I think it's out of stock though, so I'll try to link something similar. But I was looking for a little like bath mat to go with that because ours was just like done for. So I found this one at Christmas Tree Shop and this one was over actually with like the outdoor rugs. So um, a lot of the times with bathroom rugs, I will check the outdoor rugs because um, then I know that it's okay if they get wet like if it's made for the outdoors then it can get wet Sometimes I find really good rugs there. So it's just like a basic jute rug um, But it's got the fringe on both ends and it's a really nice size So I think I got this for around $15 or something So I thought it was a really good value and this really plays off the color and like the pattern on our shower this sweater. Wow kind of driving me crazy and, and next for the bathroom. I got this beautiful statement piece. So this I what's happened to this guy? He needs to I had bought this vase a while ago at Target like right after Christmas and um, I had some greenery in it but I was just again feeling like a different I wanted a different vibe so I love that this is like all glass very simple it's like almost like an invisible vase which I just think is so fun and then I absolutely filled it with these little fake flowers um, I think that this was three packs of those and then I saved one pack to like fill in other vases around the house but I love how full this looks I just think it looks really beautiful so the vase was $15 and then three packs of these at 50% off were $15 so this whole setup was 30 bucks which I feel like is amazing because I feel like if you were to find like a fake arrangement like this or something at TJ's it would be 50 plus dollars so at least I mean sometimes I see arrangements similar to this that are over a um, hundred dollars so Love that. Okay, I'm quickly starting to feel overwhelmed because I like forgot how much I bought. 
So I really wanted to redo our entry table like in our mudroom. Um, I say mudroom because it's like, I don't know, it's like a, whatever, we're in an apartment, so it's just kind of weird. But they had bought a mirror at TJ's that looks similar to the ones from like Anthropology, the gold ones with like the, um, you know what I'm talking about? And yeah, I just really wanted to, again, like freshen up that space. So I saw these vases at Target and I fell in love. I got the large one, I believe, and then there's one more that is like humongous, like huge. I don't even think you can order it because it's like, it's large and in charge. But what I did was I ordered it and picked it up in the store because it said they only had like one or two left in our store locally. So I was like, mine, ordered it online and picked it up later that day. So I'm so glad I did because I just feel like this is the perfect size and just makes like the perfect kind of subtle statement um, next to that mirror on the front table. And then I filled it with these olive branches, which I'm obsessed with. So um, I found these at Hobby Lobby and I guess they tend to be kind of sold out because they are on trend right now. So I felt like they were fairly affordable um, and getting the 50% off um, is always a great deal. So yeah, I love this together. I did not have to trim the olive branches or anything. I just like stuck them right in here and I love it. So something else for the front table, I really wanted to mix up the textures. So I had the glass, the greenery, the gold on the mirror. And I was like, I really want something kind of like wood. So I found this bowl at TJ Maxx or no, I got this at Marshall's. I think it was $12.99. Um, I don't have the sticker on it anymore, but it's just like the perfect bowl to kind of throw your sunglasses in or um, your keys, anything like that. And it's just nice to have something like this in your mudroom. I love like the irregular shape of it. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it was exactly what I was looking for. So I got that guy. Something else that I really wanted to do on that table was kind of like layer up things. So I found this picture at Hobby Lobby, which is quite random. Honestly, I don't have anything like this. And I just kind of fell in love with it. I love the colors in it. I love that it has um, like an olive tree looking plant. And I liked the little um, pots that it was in. I got this 50% off and it was originally $23.99. I feel like it's a pretty good size. And I think it looks really nice, adds some dimension. And then also on the front stand, I put this candle that I had found at, I believe Marshall's or TG Burlington, no, maybe Burlington. Um, but it has this really nice texture on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I just really loved the shape of this and like the cover. This isn't necessarily a candle that I would like burn. I really don't want to burn it just because I love the glass so much, but I could always put a fake candle or another like small candle in here um, once we burn it because it does smell amazing. Like it's really, really yummy, fresh and sweet. I don't know the scent, but yeah, I liked the way it looked. So I have that along with this little guy, this um, little glass I got from Target. It came in a pack of three in the dollar section. I have them in a couple different places around the apartment. I bought, I think I bought two packs of these and they were three bucks for the three of them. So again, I put the little doodads in there. So for the candle and this, I wanted something to like put them on. I found this at Target. This was actually part of the Levi line, which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, but we had a huge display when I walked into Target of all the new Levi stuff. They came out with dishware, pajamas, and yeah, a lot of it was super duper cute. So um, this was five bucks for this little tray and I felt like that was really good. I like this little simple detail here. I just kind of feel like it adds to it, it makes it look more expensive. And I definitely wouldn't think that this would be $5. Like, it looks a lot nicer than that. So, that's what I have on the front table. Okay, I came out into the living room. Knox is sleeping, Sissy's playing. So if you hear anything in the background, it's probably because she's like clinking toys and whatnot. And I'm talking quietly. Cause like I said, Knox is sleeping. But I wanted to show you guys this vase. So I found this vase for $12.99 at TJ's. How beautiful is this? I love the two-tone. That's super trendy right now. I love the shape of this vase. I think it's beautiful. Um, this part's matte and then this is more of like a satin finish, um, which I just really, really liked. And I feel like this looks a lot more expensive than $12.99. Um, in here, I mixed in some olive plants with some other greenery that I had had previously from Hobby Lobby. But um, I just thought this looked really cute. I like kind of like how irregular it is. And yeah, it looks really, really good on our coffee table. So I got that. Another thing from TJ Maxx that I just kind of randomly picked up and was like, I'll find a home for that is this little um, like candle holder or uh, what is this called? A lantern, a lantern. And I felt like this was very different and I liked the gold. I have like little hints of gold throughout the apartment at this point and yeah, I just wanted to kind of make it a little more cohesive. So anything that I see that's kind of cute and gold, I tend to pick up. So this was $12.99. I felt like that was a really good deal and I've never really seen 
a lantern like this. I just think it's kind of unique and whatnot. Okay, so next I wanted to redo this stand behind me. So this is an overview of what the table um, looks like. So starting over here, I actually thrifted this little candle holder and I think it is gorgeous. That's actually one of my favorite pieces that I was able to find. I think it's super cool. It was like $6 and I absolutely love it. Uh, this little diffuser, scent diffuser, is from Target. Again, I loved that like two-tone. I really like it. I only put a little bit of the scent in there and it seems to scent like this area of the house, but I feel like if I put more in there, it would probably be stronger. This basket I got in the dollar spot at Target. I did have to kind of like work with it and like shape it up a little bit because it looked pretty wonky at first, but I love the way it looks on this table. And I feel like it adds a lot of texture to this table that the you know it needs and then I picked up this picture frame from Hobby Lobby when they were doing their 50% off I just put a little picture of Sissy in it and I thought this was really cute again just kind of playing with the textures and whatnot and then I have this vase over here with some pompous that I cut myself and just kind of threw in here but this vase is from Hobby Lobby I got it a few weeks ago but I did notice they still had it so that is what this table looks like I really like to play with different heights and textures that's like always what I try to focus on so yeah, I think that's really cute. Okay, one of the other things that really needed a refresh in our space were our pillows for our couch. So I wanted to keep it really simple this time around before I had like a ton of pillows and if you guys have kids, you know that they always just end up on the floor, at least they do at our house. So I just wanted to get two matching sets, keep it, like I said, simple and clean. So I picked up these ones from Target. I actually ordered these because they are super like pottery barn kind of inspired. I love the texture on them and the different kind of tones that the threads have so up here it's kind of more cream and then over here is like a darker gray and they're very large um, and they're like the perfect I don't know like squishy kind of texture so I got two of these to go with them I got a set of these white ones these ones I got from TJ's these look really kind of simple from far away but then they have this really nice texture and detail up close so most of it's white but some of this is actually like a warmer kind of cream color which I really again I really like that um, but I love the mid-century vibes of this and the detail um, in the pattern so yeah I think uh, each of these was $30 maybe but they are really, really nice pillows. Again, very squishy. Where I was keeping it simple and only grabbing a few, I didn't mind spending a little bit more on them. So yeah, and on both of them, the pillow covers zip off. So you can replace the pillow covers if need be, or you can wash them, which is a must in our house. So got those. Okay, next up for our couch and to go with our pillows, I really needed to get some new throws. Our throws were just very tired and dirty looking. I always put throws on our couch. One, I like the way they look, but two, with us having a dog and kids, it just really protects like the high traffic areas in the house. So the first throw that I picked up was this one. This is the exact one that we actually have on our bed. It's from Target and I love it. It's so soft, so cozy, and I just feel like it looks very expensive. And I love the way it cozies up the space. So even though we are moving into spring and this is kind of more of that like um, furry, fuzzy material, I felt like because it was a cream color and it's a bright, um, color that it, it works for spring too so this is $30 highly recommend this is one of my like I don't know cozy home must-haves I'll call it for Braxton's side of the couch where he lays especially in the springtime and stuff when it starts to kind of get like dusty and dirty outside he tracks in so much dust in his side of the couch can turn brown within like a week um, I found this one at Burlington it was actually on sale for like $7.99 or something but I like uh, the texture of it and it's kind of got these little fringe things going on on both sides <laughs> this is really hard to show i thought for eight bucks especially if it's just going to be for the dog essentially i really liked it so this is just kind of like an overview of what the living room looks like so as you can see this is where braxton lays so i really use that blanket to kind of cover as much surface space as i can it's not like the most aesthetically pleasing um, but it does the trick and then i have of course the pillows and that little vase that I was talking about, um, the little tray that it was on, I believe was from Burlington. I got that as a gift. And then this is like my little cozy corner of the couch, which I love. I did purchase some new um, art, I guess, for the living room. So I found these again at Martin's, but they are actually still active on Target, I believe. So I will link them because I think at full price, they're like $35.99 for the set, which I actually think is pretty affordable for the set of two. I think these would be really cute in like a nursery or a little boy's room or um, I mean really anywhere in the house that you want to put them but I thought they would be cute right here kind of over in this corner of our living room where we have like just a little basket of old throw pillows 
um, a mirror and then I just felt like something was needed on this wall. So I guess I would say that my style is like a little bit Western as well. So I don't know we're, we're going with mid-century modern boho Western vibes, I guess. This is what um, the mantle is looking like right now. We have like cords and stuff. This is definitely not ideal. If this was our forever home, I would definitely have a better solution. But since it's just, you know, fairly temporary, I'm not getting too, too picky about it. Have some decor over here from Hobby Lobby. And then this little bowl I got at Hobby Lobby. So I thought this was really cute. This is actually over in like the kitchenware stuff. And I wasn't sure where I was going to put it or even if I really loved it. But I ended up really liking it up here with the little beads. I do wish that I had gotten like the natural colored beads instead of the white ones and then just a vase with some pompous in it, and I thought that was just kind of cute, just dresses up the area a little bit. And then over here, these two pieces are new. So this lamp I found for $4, guys, at Christmas Tree Shop. Can you even? <laughs> like, this is the cutest lamp ever. I can't even believe it was $4. I felt like I was stealing it, but I love it. I think it's so, so beautiful, and um, even in like Elle's Nursery or something in our new house, I think it would be really cute. There's just like a lot that I feel like you could do with a lamp like that. But one of my favorite things that I recently picked up was this book. So I really wanted like a coffee table book or something to put somewhere in the living room. Um, and I feel like it looks really cute kind of like underneath that light. But it's called Made for Living and it has a bunch of house stuff in it. It's by Amber Lewis and it's just really good and fun to look at. My goal is to like, I don't know, read a couple pages a week. Just like sit down and do something that I enjoy. And I just felt kind of inspired by this book. So um, I feel like that was a good one, especially with my decorating mood I've been in. Felt like that was a good purchase and I found that at TJ's for $24.99. So yeah, I thought that looked cute over here. Back here in our living room, we have some built-in. So that I'm gonna save for last. I'm gonna show you one other area that I kind of redecorated and then I'll show you that. That's kind of where I started with everything. That's when I was like, you know what? This needs a refresh. And then next thing I know, I was like doing all the rooms, buying all the things. All right, so on both sides of our sink, we have these little built-ins as well. Uh, I love having these. I think they add so much character and just like dimension to this space. So on both sides, I have these little wreaths that I found in the dollar spot at Target. They were $3 a piece. Over here, I have some older decor. It's all from, you know, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, and um and target but i recently just found this little candle holder at christmas tree shop which i thought was really cute they had a couple different sizes and whatnot but i liked the little like gold stand that it was on so that is new and then again i have another one of those wooden vases that i showed you earlier this is from walmart it's just like a little bowl that i thought just kind of looked cute next to that and then over here this is like my favorite section of the kitchen just these two pieces right here make me so happy but i have another wreath same exact wreath from target on this side and then down here i got this vase where did i get this i got this at hobby lobby it was 3.99 guys so inexpensive and i may have even gotten it 50 percent off as well so i mean crazy inexpensive and i just felt like it was really cute i like the texture on it and the color and the shape and everything and then this guy i found at marshall's and i love this like i think this is just like the coolest picture ever i actually haven't seen anything like that so that was 12.99 too by the way so very very inexpensive next i got these matching plant pots and these i got at christmas tree shop i think this one was like 1.99 and this one was 3.99 or something very very inexpensive but my mom was with me and she's like these look like you and i'm like okay i'm buying them just because that's cute um and she picked them out for me so but definitely needed the refresh. Okay guys, now for the built-ins. This is where it all started. So my goals were to mix the textures. Of course, you guys have heard me say that a million times in this video. And I wanted it to be kind of asymmetrical and heavier on some areas than others. So, so first up, I picked up this black metal frame. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. I knew that I was gonna want something black because of most of the things that I bought were white or wood. So I really wanted to have some black metal in there. The next thing that I picked up is this little candle holder from Target. This is by Threshold. This was $15. I loved all of this kind of like, I don't know, rough, like washed detail going on. I haven't been able to find like a candle that's like a perfect fit for it yet, but still I just like the wood accent and I liked the way it looked next to that picture frame. I felt like that was just like perfect. Over here I have a tray from Walmart with a little plant from Home Goods and then just a little picture frame. This one has Knox in it since I have L over there. Um, I wanted to make sure I got one of Knox uh, in a small frame as well. So this frame is from Hobby Lobby. I mean, it's got some really nice texture on it and whatnot. The next thing I purchased was this vase from Target. So this was, again, $15. This is one of my favorite, favorite things that I purchased. I just think it's really fun and unique, and it definitely catches your eye. I thought this was really cute, and for $15, I mean, when you figure you see something like this in like an interior magazine or something, 
um, you know, they can go for hundreds of dollars. So I felt like 15 bucks, whatever. It's cute, love it, it makes me happy to look at it. And then Haley was actually over helping me decorate and she took these beads and kind of like threw it around. And I actually really liked that idea. So uh, yeah, I kept it that way. I thought it was really cute. Moving on over here, these are from TJ Maxx. I got two of them. They were fairly inexpensive. I think the larger one was like $14.99 and the smaller one was like I don't know, $8.99 or something like that, but they can actually store things in them, which I think is great because depending on where you decide to use these in your home, you may actually have something you could hide in here, like a remote or something like that. So yeah, I don't have anything in these, but I do love the texture on them and just that color wood. It's really, really pretty. Oh, this one was $12.99, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think they look really great stacked too. That was one thing with the built-ins is I wanted a few things that um, were stacked. You'll see up here I have a book in a bowl. So I wanted some things that were stacked. I'm really into like stacking the books and stuff. Just I feel like again that makes a space look a little bit more higher end. Over here I just have some mixed vases. And then up here I have a big gold like brass kind of brushed bowl. This I found at Target. This was 10 bucks which I felt like was really good because you can actually use it. I like having a multi-use items what am i trying to say anyway it was 10 bucks i thought it was pretty i had this old um book that i actually had in knox's nursery it's again like a fake book that opens you can store stuff in it i have a cord no idea where it's from but they they had a bunch similar to this from hobby lobby and uh yeah i just thought it was really cute stacked like that really over here i only have a couple new items anyway so two of those are these little i shouldn't say little one of them's little one's big um these vases from Hobby Lobby and they kind of have like a speckle detail. I got these when their table decor um, was 50% off. So this was originally $35.99 and I got it for 50% off. And then this one was originally $17.99. So they actually were very affordable with that 50% off discount. I love the texture on them and like the color and the shape I really, really liked. So I definitely knew if I got one, I wanted two of them together. I just feel like they belong as like a set also from Hobby Lobby I picked up this little guy it does have a little string here if you wanted to hang it on a wall but I just leaned it against the back and again I really like the black uh, frame and it works really well with the other black frame that we have so I thought this was really cute and lastly I got these two little vases again from Hobby Lobby and I thought these were really really cute they just look very um, like vintagey so this one was $11.99 this one was $14.99 and I got them for 50% off so yeah, they, it, it is like a really thin glass, I will say that, but um, they're not in like a high traffic area. There really isn't any reason why they should be knocked down on this built-in back here. So um, I felt like they were safe and I liked the little gold top too. So love these. Hey dude, what's happening? That is absolutely it for today's video. I'm just going to end it here. I wish that this was more organized and um, aesthetically, you know, like pleasing and relaxing to watch. But this is our life right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got some inspiration to maybe freshen up some areas in your house. I will try to link everything that I possibly can down below along with like other things that I didn't mention um, as well. I love you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Do 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 do.